Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We aren't doing another crock pot recipe. I know I'm the crock pot mom and everything, but it's so hot still. So today I'm actually making a recipe that I got from the Food Network. Um, I think it was Ina Garden. Um, she made an orzo pasta salad with shrimp, kind of like, um, I want to say like a Greek pasta salad. So that's what we're doing now. So I've boiled some water and I've added some orzo. Uh, before the, I added the orzo, I, I added some salt to the water to give it some flavor. Per the instructions of the box, it says to let it cook for nine minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Pop the lid back on and let that sit and we'll be back. Here are the ingredients. Again, such a simple recipe. I'm all about the quick and easy meals, especially during the weekday. So I've added some extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to squeeze in a whole lemon. And I also wish I would have actually bought two lemons. I think for the amount of pasta, two lemons would have been better, um, but I didn't. So I could have, you know, cut down on the, the amount of orzo, um, but we're just gonna go with the flow and see how it tastes at the end. and some red onion and parsley. An English cucumber. So I've left the skin on um, since it's an English cucumber. If I had a regular one, that's fine as well. And some pre-cooked shrimp. Now I would have normally cooked my own shrimp so I could have added some more flavor, but my husband went shopping, so he got this. I've gone ahead and stirred the mixture of ingredients just so you guys can get an idea um, and I have some feta cheese that's already crumbled and that's going to add a lot of salt so I haven't seasoned it at all so I want to see once this is mixed in how it tastes and then we will add some more salt if we think we need it. Another thing to add if I had some tomatoes or even some olives I would have thrown that in there as well so don't be afraid to change it up a bit. And this is the final product, guys. So I ended up trying to squeeze a little more juice into it, and I added some garlic salt, my favorite. So here it is, guys. Enjoy.